Hi everyone, I'm Kaylee Shimizu and I'm from the island of Oahu. Remember that name, because if you saw the 17-year-old's blind audition on The Voice, you witnessed a star in the making. Shimizu, who has ties to the island from the Shimizu family that grew up in Tamuni, says she was into music since she was little. My mom's side can sing, and as well as um, my, my dad's side a little. Um, so my mom's side is Filipino, so I grew up around karaoke. And... Um, I've always had a love for music, so they put me in singing lessons, and from there, my passion and love grew for even more. You witnessed a star in the making. Shimizu, who has ties to the island from the Shimizu family that grew up in Tamuni, says she was into music since she was little. It all helped prepare her for the big audition. She recalls a moment right before she took the stage. Once there was a way to get back I'm feeling every emotion you could ever think of. I felt butterflies. I did feel a little nauseous. I was like, oh my gosh, is this really happening? But like most of all, I felt very excited to even be singing for these amazing coaches and being on the being on the boy. <laughs> um, I felt very, very nervous. But once I stepped on that stage and started to sing, I'm like, oh, this is not that bad. I got this. <laughs> and definitely got it. Shimizu belting out a Beatles classic, Golden Slumbers. What made her decide to go with that tune? The first time I heard that song was in the movie Sing, and my sister Natalie was like, Kaylee, this song would fit your voice so well. Please learn it. So I started listening to it, and I was like, this is a song I'm going to sing. This is it. But the song also held special meaning. I dedicated this song to my papa, Aka. He's my great grandpa. Um, he was the biggest supporter when it came to sing, my biggest supporter when it came to singing. So um, I felt like I should dedicate a song to him on this, the, the stage of the voice. So I did, and um, it, it means a lot to me. Coach is blown away, all four turning. I was not expecting a four chair turn. So when I seen three judges turn all at one time, I was like, is this really happening? Is this real? And then Gwen turned, I'm like, four chairs? No way. And in that moment, it just felt so surreal. It still feels really unreal to me. Believe it or not, this was not her first time auditioning. Shimizu first auditioned when she was 13. Although not selected, it didn't deter her. It made her want it more and made the moment that much more amazing. As for how she decided which coach to choose. I was like kind of leaning towards Gwen, maybe John, um, but in the moment when all the coaches were speaking to me, they all had amazing things to say. So it felt really tough. I was like, I don't know who I'm going to go with, actually. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and um, John really stuck out to me. And I felt like we really connected um, as an artist and genre-wise. John, oh my God. So I went with John, and I feel like he'll be an amazing coach to me, so I'm excited. With the battle round set to begin, how is she preparing? God is the center of everything I do, so praying to God every day, um, working on my vocals, warming up, um, learning a lot of um, techniques to my vocals, um, just making it stronger and practicing every day before that ha the battles happen. Um, yeah, I feel ready. <laughs> Not feel ready. She thanks everyone for the outpour of support and encouragement. I really, really want to visit and hopefully one day sing for Guam. Good luck, Kaylee. Jonah Gancharfris, KUM News.